All right, here we go. <clears throat> I don't know if we're recording audio or not. We're gonna take a little ride. Talk a little bit about the KLR. So here we go. All right. So we're coming up on the 3,000 mile mark. And uh, we're going to see how this turns out. So stand by. We're going to take a little ride out to the Brown Canyon Ranch right now. And uh, this is one of the cool things about having the KLR is that you can go on little excursions, little adventures like this, just kind of chilling out. So when I bought the KLR, you have to decide what it is you want to do with your bike. Uh, and you know, I've been around bikes most of my life, so... I've ridden, you know, the fast bikes, the street bikes, I've had the cruisers, I've had the dirt bikes, Enduros, all that stuff. Basically what a KLR. And so I like to ride street and dirt. This gives me the best of both worlds. So if I ever just want to get out here and just kind of tinker a little bit, I get the best of both worlds. And uh, you know, I've done the fast thing and all that, and just not interested in doing that anymore. The thing I like about the KLR is I. Uh, I can kind of go wherever I want and it's comfortable doing pretty much anything. Now I'm not going to get out there on the road and go 100 mile an hour with this bike. If I had wanted to do that I would have bought a street bike. But you know if I want to get out and you know load down a camping bag, a, a sleeping bag and a tent and my gold prospect and stuff, I can just jump on the bike, pack it all on the bike, and head out. And that's kind of what I was looking for, you know. The KLR is a no-frills, uh, easy-to-work-on bike. It's comfortable in most all-terrains. So this is the Brown Canyon Ranch. Nothing special out here, just an old ranch house. People come out here, there's hiking trails everywhere. You can come out here and hike.
I got some pictures. We went in there a couple weeks ago when we came out here on a hike. So yeah, that's that's basically probably gonna muffle the audio right now. Take a ride up uh, the road here. Very pretty up here. bed and breakfast up that way. Let's look at how beautiful this is up here. So, I've actually ordered the 
taller windshield I think that might be my issue with the wind noise because this short windshield kind of puts the wind right here at the bottom of my chin and I've been wanting to get a uh, taller windshield anyway so I uh, I ordered the KLR uh, larger windshield it should be in this week so I'm hoping that'll make a difference with the wind noise we're gonna find out Entering Coronado National Forest. It's Car Canyon. This is Car Canyon Road. I'll just come up here real quick. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it's about. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I, I went with the KLR. Um, take a walk over here. Just because I thought it would be a cool bike. And uh, it's actually turned out to be a really, really cool bike. I'm uh, able to go places and do things. And just get out and enjoy. We'll just go right over here. Um, we like to come out here and go hiking and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's a cool bike. You know, it's not meant to go fast. It's not meant to, uh, 
tear up the dirt and the mud trails <clears throat> it's just designed to if you want to if you want to take a ride load it down with your camping gear um, you know go on an adventure it's the perfect bike for that there's a little bit of water in here not much very little but um, yeah so I bought the KLR like I said because I just like to get out Look at that beautiful water it's nice out here it's a little windy today so I'm thinking about I'm getting to where I'm gonna be needing um, new tires pretty soon and uh, I'll be doing a video about that next I've kind of narrowed it down to a few video a few tires <clears throat> you know when it comes to dual sport tires it's either one extreme or the other um, you're gonna have to sacrifice something and so we're gonna talk about that in the next video but I just wanted to kind of get out just take a little ride nothing special check out the GoPro setup hopefully when I get my new uh, my new windshield in next week that will definitely help with uh, some of the wind noise so We'll head back to the house. I did it the video. See so you take a look at that back tire. It's getting there. It's pretty pretty well ready to replace. <clears throat> so I like the Shinko brand. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Guys, just chilling. Guys. So anyway, we'll go home, see how the video came out, and uh, talk about tires in the next video. So, until next time, thanks for watching the video. Maybe we'll uh, take the back way home. Well, it's not really a back way. <laughs> <laughs>